One Bat Said Come In by Carmen Didi. One Bat was not worried, no, not a tittle. Fire had passed over his burrow before. Best, he thought, to shelter under my crazy quilt until the trouble passes. But, as often as it does, trouble came knocking. Hoolee! Wombat. Outside was his friend Wallaby. Eyes were wide with fright. Help, Wombat. I, 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 I can't reach my home. And may I stay with you a while? Wombat hesitated only for one tick of the clock. Then Wombat said, come in. Wombat said, come in from smoke and den and howling wind. Come in, my friend, come in. A grateful wallaby hopped inside and was soon twitching in his sleep under a certain crazy quilt. No worries, thought Wombat. I'll have a cup of tea in my favorite chair instead. But as he lowered himself into that chair, he heard, Woohoo! Ha ha ha! Cuckaburra was at the door. He looked scorched and bad tempered. Dreadful out there, Wombat. Fire's on the marsh. Spare room for an old friend? I do have quite a few rooms, thought Wombat, and so Wombat said, come in. Wombat said, come in, from smoke and dent and howling wind. Come in, my friend, come in. With a laugh of purest joy, Kookaburra commanded Wombat's favorite chair. Cattle on, Wombat, could do with some tea. Where are my manners, thought Wombat. Before he could fetch his slippers, he heard, Help! I can't, uh, achoo. Without warning, in tumbled platypus, and out of platypus tumbled a jumble of words. Wombat, I can't find my way. I've lost my shoe, and there's smoke in my nostrils, and... Wombat patted his pockets for a handkerchief. He found three. Platypus took them all. May I stay with you, dear Wombat? It's so hot. Heat, hotness. Oh, the hot, hot, hotness. All of it. How, thought Wombat, this plat platypus talk so much and say so little. There was only one thing Wombat could think to do. Wombat said, come in. Wombat said, come in from smoking den and howling wind. Come in, my friend. Come in. Already in, said platypus. Then she brightened. Slippers. As Platypus patted away in Wombat's favorite slippers, she trilled, Tea and toast, please, Wombat. I'll be in my room. Tea does make a hard day easier to bear, thought Wombat. His clock chimed in agreement, but you've already guessed that poor Wombat didn't finish preparing that tea and toast. Help! Wombat rushed towards the cry. Stut! gasped. Koala, and he tugged on a sooty eucalyptus branch, sounding a bit less friendly than he intended. Wombat said, come in. Wombat said, come in. From smoke and din and howling wind, come in, my friend, come in. But leave that smelly twig outside, he muttered. Not smelly, corrected Koala, as he gave the branch a yank. It plowed into the burrow and down went the clock with a clang galang lang This day, Wombat worried, is getting quite out of hand. You'd like tea, I suppose, he huffed. No thanks, murmured Koala, only Liptus. Well, I must have tea, thought Wombat, with three, no, four lumps of sugar. This sweet thought restored Wombat to his best self, but then he heard, Wombat, back! Sugar glider? Fire, fire, squeaked Sugar glider. Come in, in. Oh, well, what was one more, thought Wombat. So, Wombat said, come in, come in. Wombat said, come in from smoke and din and howling wind. Come in, my fr thwack. 
Sugar Glider took a flying leap onto Wombat's snout. From there, Slider, Sugar Glider launched inside and smashed into the hat rack. Zoom! From which he fell onto a nearby tea tray where he tipped over a bowl of sugar cubes. Sugar Glider, do not touch. Too late. Sugar Glider had snarfled up every last sugar cube. Wombat did not trust himself to speak. Seeing his distress, Sugar Glider leapt onto Wombat's shirt, pulled a gooey cube from his mouth, and dropped it into Wombat's paw. Then he scrambled into a pocket. Sleep, sleep, he cooed. Wombat studied the sticky gift and thought, what an odd day this has been, but they'll surely go home soon. Hm. Wombat was mistaken. Days passed. Then one morning, Wombat awoke to an odd smell. No, it's more like a smell that isn't, thought Wombat. He tiptoed past his sleeping guest and peeked outside the burrow. The smoke had cleared. The ground was cool. So, Wombat said, go home. Wombat said, go home. It's safe for you to rove and roam and time for me to be alone. Skedaddle, shoot, go home. Thank you, thank you, said a small voice. Wombat frowned as he plucked Sugar Glider from his pocket. Go home. Glider Sugar, Sugar Glider sighed, no home, home to go to. Wombat's ears twitched. He clacked his teeth. He made an odd wickering sound. And finally, Wombat said, come in. The end.